Welcome back everybody, Gator here as always. Welcome to my new series, Lover's Gonna Love. Now if you've been a follower of my Haters Gonna Hate series, you'll notice that I've already done a couple episodes of this in there, but the feedback I got from it was tremendous and people really pushing for me to move away from Haters Gonna Hate and do Lover's Gonna Love. So I put a poll out on Twitter saying what should I do, Haters Gonna Hate, Lover's Gonna Love, or Gator's Corner, and Lover's Gonna Love won by like three, three votes or whatever. So here we are, I'm gonna start the brand new series, Lover's Gonna Love. Now the first comment today comes from Mike Latouris. He says, love your humility. Most people who want to be content creators usually get the mindset of going big and only express dissatisf dissatisfaction at four figure sub numbers. Well, I have to tell you this, man. When I first started this, we literally were just fucking around. We didn't think we'd get any subs. We just, you know, sometimes we were drinking and stuff, decided to make a video, whatever the case may be. And then we thought we'd like to, you know, watch ourselves and laugh at ourselves. I understand that the content wasn't funny to other people, but to ourselves, it was pretty hilarious. And then when people actually watched, uh, we were kind of shocked. Even though I did do the Kickstarter and stuff, so I brought it on myself. Point being, when we hit 100 subs, I was absolutely fucking mind blown. When we hit 1,000, I couldn't even believe it. So to be where I am today is just remarkable. And anyone who takes that for granted, that's out there making content, and they take for granted 2,500 subs, fuck you. Why even try, says... Dude, you're sexy as fuck. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Now, I've only had maybe five comments of people, you know, kind of hitting on me. Uh, but I do appreciate it. It is nice. It's nice to know. Uh, I always make sure I show my wife those comments. Gotta keep her jealous, you know. Gotta keep her on her toes. Free Dick Milk writes, When all hope was lost, the legend came back. Of course I fucking came back. You know, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. No Dick Milk left behind. Next up, we have a comment from a week old steak. He says, I love your videos. Everything you come out with is gold. They make me nut in two minutes. And this is usually the time I would say, mission accomplished. I mean, if I'm making you nut in less than two minutes, if I'm making you nut at all, I say that's a fucking accomplished mission right there, right? Because what more could I possibly ask for as a response from my videos? Leonardo Delgado says, dude, huge fucking improvement since Gator Poon. Congratulations, and keep it up. Well, you know I always keep it up. Constantly, 24-7, I'm always up. Sometimes I'm only half staff if uh, I'm feeling a little depressed that day, but usually I'm 100% up. Thanks for the compliment of me being better since Gator Poon. I do appreciate that. I have put some work into this, not as, not as much as I wish I could, to be honest with you, but I have put a lot of work into this, and I'm, I'm hoping it's improving. I'm hoping I'm getting better, so thank you for that. This next comment comes from Noah Harvey. And... The first comment he left was, new favorite channel. Now, I get comments like this every now and again, and i got to be honest, I'm a bit of a skeptic. Part of me is always thinking, ah, this guy's being sarcastic, you know, and sometimes they are. I'll write back thank you or something. They're like, oh, what are you, an idiot? You don't get the meme? Or whatever it may be. Uh, but this guy wrote back uh, something like, okay, or I, or I wrote thank you or something, but I think he could tell that I didn't believe him. And then he says, see, you're the best type of YouTuber, the ones who actually talk to their fans and listen to what they want. Rep, dude. Keep up the good shit. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, I love talking to the fans. I've said it time and time again. It's literally my favorite part of all of this is communicating back and forth with you guys in the comments section. Uh, it's such a blast. I enjoy doing it. I get off work. I come home. I have 50 notifications, and I respond to all of them. It's just, it's just a whole lot of fun for me. So for me, it's not really work or whatever the problem is with other YouTubers and why they don't do it. I don't know. I understand when you get a lot of people, you can't do it to everyone, but I'll still do it the same amount I'm doing now, at least. Anonymous9001 leaves a comment saying, That language and tone are both sexy. Well, you know, that's that Southern Ohio accent going for you, and it really turns the ladies on. Uh, that's why women don't watch my videos very often, because they have a hard time not getting their panties wet instantly. Then they have to go change their clothes and shit. Their whole day's fucking ruined. So if they do watch me, they have to wait till late at night, maybe run a bubble bath, lay some rose petals out for themselves, and pretend that I'm there with them. Uh, that's probably the only opportunity they get to watch me, and that's why 5% or less of my views come from females. Next comment. Milktoast says, so fucking funny. Oh my god, it was great. I'm only assuming that you must have left that comment on my dance compilation video, because that truly was great. I know a lot of people thumbs downed it and left some hate comments and stuff, but who the fuck doesn't want to watch nine minutes of me attempting to dance? I mean, it was beautiful. It was like the greatest thing since Fantasia. So next up, we have a guy called uh, Manio Straight Drippin'. 
Now this is a guy that watched my YouTube garbage video on iDubs and left a hate comment. But then he researched my channel a bit and then he left another message. He said, Fuck my last comment. I see potential in this channel. Everybody grows from nothing as long as you're patient. And again, I fucking, that's awesome. That's, that's exactly what I'm hoping for. I've had to have a lot of patience, you know, not being able to get the editing software I'd like to have, not being able to get the camera I'd like to have, not being able to set up my area quite the way I really wish I could have it, and not having the time that I really want to sit down and script my videos and really put a lot of work into it. Um, so I, I do appreciate that. I have been very patient. I feel like I have come a long way, but I definitely have a long way I still want to go. Last comment of the day here is extremely special to me. Um, some of you might look at it and be like, I don't understand why that'd be so special to you. You might say I'm reading into it too much or whatever it may be. I don't really give a fuck because I'm super pumped about it. And it comes from iDubs TV. Andy writes, I haven't given up on you, Gator. I mean, I woke up to this comment and I know, I know it's silly. It's silly. It's just fucking, what is it? Seven words. Seven words. I haven't given up on you, Gator. That's it. That's all he left. I haven't heard from him in like a year. I made him a thank you video. I've sent him personal messages. I think I even sent him an email at one point on top of leaving messages on quite a few of his videos, thanking him and stuff. And I always wondered if he ever saw any of it or got any of it uh, or even knew that I was still making videos or not. I never had a clue of what was going on there or how he you know, felt about my channel or me or anything like that. I've always had tons of respect for, for him and tons of appreciation for what he did. So for him to come here and not only comment, but to comment something, I haven't given up on you, Gator. Like, it's almost like validation. Validation that this last year, I'm not just beating my head against the wall, you know? Like, I'm making improvements. My videos are getting better. And like I said, maybe I'm reading into this too much, but I, I kind of took it that way. Like, hey, you know what? You're doing a decent job. You know, I, I get that it's still far fucking work from where it needs to be. But that was like that was like the validation I've been waiting for for like a year, and I couldn't ask for a better person for it to come from. So iDubs TV, once again, thank you so much. You, you have no idea the power of just a few words can have over somebody. Um, so thanks for that. Thank you guys so much for joining in for another Lovers Gonna Love. I definitely plan on doing a lot more of these videos. It was a whole lot more fun looking for love comments than hate comments. And thank you, everybody who left all the love comments. And all the ones that didn't make the video, thank you guys as well. A lot of the ones that were like, you were great, you were awesome, love the vid, stuff like that. I had to leave them out because there was just hundreds of ones like that. And I would have a video that's like three hours long if I tried to get everybody in there. Um, but thank all of you guys for your support. You guys keep supporting me. I'll keep going. That's a promise I can make to you guys for sure. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to come back and check out my page every Monday and every th Thursday for a brand new video. Other than that, thank you guys for joining in. I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. And thank you to all the people that left the love comments. You guys are the reason. Dude, huge fucking improvement since Gator Prune. Prune. <laughs> I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only really fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.